Hi everyone, this is Kunal Nair. Most of you know me as Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali from The Big Bang Theory, a show that I was lucky enough to be on for 12 years. Being an astrophysicist for 12 seasons uh, really sparked an interest for science. That coupled with being a diverse actor got me thinking about inclusion and diversity in the scientific community. And after doing some research, I found that Blacks and Hispanics make a very small percentage of all STEM workers. So, Thermo Fisher Scientific and I have created a video series called This Is How I Science, in which we will be interviewing the most brilliant, young, scientific and diverse minds to not only learn about the breakthroughs in their research, but also what it feels like to be a person of color in the scientific community, the challenges and the obstacles that they face. We believe together we can overcome anything in the future. So please join me for This Is How I Science. So without further ado, let's meet the scientists. My name is Dr. Corey Gerson. I am a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Michigan, and this is How I Science. I'm Dr. Henry Henderson, a cancer biologist, and this is How I Science. My name is Alexis Wilson. I'm an environmental scientist, and this is How I Science. My name is Sigourney. I'm a PhD student, and this is How I Science. Hi, my name is Christopher Lawrence. I'm a PhD candidate at Princeton University in ecology and evolutionary biology, and this is How I Science. My name is Angeline Dukes. I'm a neuroscientist, and this is how I science. A large part of why I got into science is because you, know, you can have a large impact on other people's lives. You can change the way they live, and uh, that's you know what pushes me to be a scientist. It's the women scientists who came before me, especially the black women who have been here and have been doing the work and who inspired me to even consider going to graduate school. They're the ones who showed me that it is possible for someone who looks like me to get a PhD and to become a professor and to teach and inspire the next generation. My passion for environmental science, I love the opportunity that we have as scientists to understand the world around us and also have an impact on people's lives. Uh, and lastly, as a black woman scientist, I have an opportunity to inspire the next generation of scientists, but to also take the position that I do have and fight for change um, so that we do have a more diverse and rich uh, scientific community. I think the most defining moment of my life so far has been my defense that I did May 15, 2020. I defended my PhD in biomedical engineering in my living room with a suit on and my socks, <laughs> really in a relaxed environment. And I did it in front of my mother and my roommate. My mother drove across the the U.S. in a pandemic surprised me and was there for the whole hour that I defended six years of work. And so that was one of the highlights of my whole PhD career. I would say the most defining moment in my life thus far isn't a graduation, but it's the realization that I'm supposed to be in science, that I'm inspiring others, that I'm helping people, especially patients who suffer from cancer. So my number one piece of advice to anyone considering a career in science is to follow your passion. Um, do what you're most interested in. There are so many times when science can be a challenge, when results don't go your way, but as long as you have that passion and that drive to find that information, to answer that question, it will carry you the entire way. Remain perseverant and dedicated to whatever it is that you decide to do, and it will take you far find and remember your why. So this is not the one thing you wanna do for the rest of your life. Instead, it's why is this work important to you and to others? Why does this work excite you? Uh, why did you become interested in this field in the first place?
What drives me, honestly, is my family. Just everything that we have been through, um, being a first generation student, being African American, being the child of military army vets, uh, really kind of shapes my perspective in different ways. And so having their support, having also, you know, their experiences to pull from, um, as well as the different kind of medical and genetic conditions that we have in our family truly, truly drives me. The next generation really drives me. The possible next generation of young black scientists, of little kids who are out there right now who have never seen a black scientist. Um, I want to show them that we are here and we, we exist and we're doing it and they can do it too. Um, that's really what drives me to keep doing the things that I'm doing because I was that child. I didn't know that, you know, black sciences <laughs> were a thing. I didn't know that this was something that I could do until I went to college. And I want them to start off knowing that this is an option for them and they can absolutely succeed in this field. Now that you've heard from these brilliant scientists, Thermo Fisher and I want to hear from you. We want you to post your photos, your videos, using the hashtag, this is how I science. And together we can promote diversity, inclusion, and awareness for the scientific community all over the world. Don't forget, this is how I science.